This is Chris. I'd like to tell you a little bit about what to expect from a land surveyor. The most popular types of surveys are boundary and topographic. They'll accurately find the property corners, structures, and elevations. These services will vary depending on your location, the size of the parcel, and the type of property you have. Surveyors stay pretty busy, and since they don't come a dime a dozen, there's a good chance it may be a few weeks before your survey project can get started. There should be a contract that spells out the terms and conditions of the work. You'll want to review this and understand what type of service is being performed. This may also include a 50% deposit before even starting the job. There are no guarantees. A surveyor's job is to observe the conditions of the land. Surveyor findings may or may not be in your favor. What you'll get are just the facts. Just the facts. With an unbiased, accurate representation of the real world. You'll need to provide the surveyor a legal description. A street address just won't do the trick. Typically, this is found in your warranty deed from your closing documents. If you're in a platted subdivision, the surveyor will have to obtain the original plat when your lot was created. This is the information they will use to survey your property. For boundary surveys in a subdivision, the surveyor must go up and down the block, and sometimes adjacent blocks to find the property corners. This could include digging in your neighbor's front yard to find a corner. For topographic surveys, most cities require grades on your property as well as your neighbors, so the surveyor must work in your neighbor's property as well. Survey drawings should be included in your contract. Make sure this is part of the price at the beginning of the project. Stay informed about other surveying tips by hitting the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified of new content when it's released.